Hey everybody, my name is Derek Davis and I'm going to be uh, running you through the course that we will be embarking on together this semester, uh, Contextual Education, Learning and Context. Now, in the past this was specifically a 365M course, but we have broadened it uh, considerably to take into account uh, multiple contexts, and so this course is uh, kind of the nuts and bolts is really going to give you some methodology to use as you attempt to learn something from a context uh, that you are currently engaging in. So what I want to do right now is just walk you through the course uh, just a little bit to kind of describe the uh, the skeleton of the course to you and then also kind of give you an idea of what the ebb and flow of the weekly uh, tasks is going to look like so that you don't find yourself uh, feeling out of sorts at some point. Um, because it is an online class, a majority of the things we're going to be doing is engaging in discussions uh, through forums, uh, but occasionally you'll get something like this from me just to kind of walk you through some particularly tricky or sticky content. Um, and of course, I'm always available uh, via, via phone. Um, you can shoot me a text um, or, or just send me an email to answer any questions that might crop up. All right, so you'll notice uh, first and foremost uh, that this course is a little bit different from others that you may have taken insofar as I don't have an official syllabus up there. What I've attempted to do is just embed the syllabus into the Moodle course. So if there's ever anything you need to know, uh, you can just look at the Moodle course itself and it should tell you. So let me just scroll with you here. Uh, you'll see the course outcomes first uh, that link also to course objectives uh, and degree objectives. Uh, if you close that down, you then will see the required texts and resources. Um, Yes, I know that the first text is quite expensive, but it's going to form the core of this course, uh, which is Kolb's methodology for experiential learning. Uh, the situated learning text is going to give you a slightly different viewer idea of what uh, contextualized learning or experiential learning could look like. Um, and then finally, a practical theology by Richard Osmer, which is kind of a theological appropriation of Kolb's experiential learning method. Uh, under that, you'll see a list of videos and things. I try to link those into the assignments where you're going to be using them, but they're just up here for reference as well. Uh, then you have your assignments. Uh, all of the big assignments that you're going to turn in this semester are right here. You'll just need to drop them in uh, on the appropriate due date. The learning hours and grading is just to give you a snapshot of how many hours I expect you to spend on each of the items listed there, uh, and then the amount of points that they'll be worth at the end of the semester just like you would have in a normal syllabus. Um, and then begins our weekly rhythm. Uh, so what I've tried to do here is just outline very briefly the kinds of things I want you to be doing. So first, I want you to read uh, Experiential Learning Chapters 1 and 2 uh, by Kolb. Then in your first post, I want you to follow the instructions there and post it by Wednesday. Uh, the responses to your peers' posts will be due by Friday. And then the summary post for the week that kind of gives me an idea of how you're tying this all together uh, is going to be due on Saturday. Now this is going to be the general flow of the class every week. There will obviously be a few exceptions like when Thanksgiving rolls around and we can kind of play it by ear at that point, um, but I'll have all of that filled out in the course before it happens so you know what to expect. But suffice it to say, you're going to be reading uh, the first couple days of the week, then you're going to be posting your initial thoughts. Your peers are going to try to hone in on your thoughts, uh, sometimes being somewhat critical, but also um, being uh, kind. <laughs> of course, that's always expected. But to kind of push the envelope and make sure that what you're saying makes sense in regard to the reading and, and your experience. And then finally, after your peers have responded to you and you've engaged in conversation, I want some synthesis. I want to 
see how you're mixing this all together and making some sense of it in the final post for the week. Uh, so this is going to be the, the ins and outs. Obviously, there are a few book reviews and summaries that you'll be doing. Um, and then really the the project, the summative project at the end of this course is going to be putting together a portfolio of some learning experiences that you've had and, and seeking to demonstrate what you have learned from those experiences. So let me just give a few words about that. Uh, why is this course different? Why does uh, why why do we engage in this sort of thing? Well, uh, ultimately, the way we've been taught to learn uh, in our society here in in North America has basically been there are certain settings and environments where we learn, namely a classroom. Um, and yes, of course, we can learn things from our everyday lives, and we have situations that are learning experiences. But by and large, we learn in a classroom. Uh, th this class is going to push back against that assumption. And in fact, it's going to push against some of the, the fundamental things you think are true about learning. And that's where I think this class is really, really valuable. Um, what it's going to do is push you not to bring an agenda to a context where you want to learn, but rather let the context teach you as you experience it. Uh, Kolb is really going to equip you to do some of those things, and, and uh, Lavin and, and Wenger are going to expound upon that and broaden the horizons. I hope that you find this class valuable. I know that the content has definitely changed my perspective uh, long ago, but still, uh, lasting changes have come from that material, and so I hope you find the same transformative effect as you seek to kind of broaden your horizons on what it means to learn uh, in any situation you might find yourself. I really look forward to reading your posts um, and kind of meeting you, uh, so to speak, online. Um, I'm sure you'll learn plenty about me as the semester goes on, namely that I have an extensive board game collection, as you might see behind me. Um, but I'd like to hear some stuff about you. Where are you at? What's your context? Why are you taking this course? Um, why are you in graduate school? I look forward to hearing all these things from you, and I hope to see you in the forums this week. Bye.